Last night, President Cyril Ramaphosa moved the country to adjusted lockdown level one. And uh, what does this mean for the people of the country? Uh, it means that it's now political campaigning season and politics speaks louder than anything else at this stage because he has a job to keep. And I think at this stage, it was an easy decision for him with still a threat of this uh, fourth wave that they say is going to happen in December. We will just open up the country and allow up to 2,000 people to come together at gatherings outdoor, which is really two-faced in my opinion. If he really believes that things are as serious as they are, why move to level one lockdown level? This is a political decision. So him saying that he cares about the people, if he really believes all the other things that he said in the past, it makes absolutely no sense. And in the article headline from News24, it says lockdown SA moves to level one as government set to introduce vaccine certificates. So you can move to lockdown level one, but then there will always be a price to give. It's like, uh, uh, like, a virtual blackmail and this is a huge problem and I will speak about that and address it in detail in future meetings and uh, especially the Freedom SA events that we'll be having we'll be having a large event on the garden route on the 16th of October and now we can gather 2,000 people together outdoors so let's go for it so, President Cyril Ramaphosa has moved the country to adjust the level one lockdown. The government will also implement a vaccine certificate. I've mentioned this before. Among the new regulations are larger gatherings and the sale of alcohol until 11 at night. President Cyril Ramaphosa announced on Thursday evening the country would move to adjusted level one lockdown starting at midnight. He also said the government would also be implementing a vaccine certificate. The current trends in the progression of the pandemic mean that a number of the restrictions in place can be eased, as per the recommendations of the Ministerial Advisory Committee on COVID-19, Ramaphosa added in his national address. This makes no sense if they believe that there's a fourth wave coming again, uh, based on what they say will prevent spread of what they call COVID-19. <clears throat> so it means that the following regulations will be in place and you can follow the link to the article in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. The curfew will be from 12 to 4 in the morning. This was, a was and still is a restriction on your freedom. Non-essential establishments like restaurants, bars and fitness centers will need to close by 11 to allow the employees and patrons to travel home from the start of the curfew. That is a removal of your freedom. The maximum number of people permitted to gather indoors will increase from 250 to 750. And the maximum number of people permitted to gather, gather outdoors will increase from 500 to 2000. That's a fourfold jump. You know, this is a political decision. This, is, this has never happened before when going to level one lockdown. Never have they allowed 2000 people to gather outdoors. It's purely a political ploy and it's really pathetic to see this at this stage. It just proves that uh, health was never a consideration. Um, well, you can read between the lines. Where the venue is too small to accommodate these numbers with appropriate social distancing, then no more than 50% of the venue's capacity may be used. Same old, same old. This includes religious services, political events, and social gatherings, as well as restaurants, bars, taverns, and similar places. The maximum number of people permitted at a funeral will increase from 50 to 100 as before night vigils, after funeral gatherings and after tears gatherings are not allowed. The sale of alcohol, another restriction of your freedom. The sale of alcohol for both off-site and on-site consumption will be permitted according to normal license provisions. However, no alcohol may be sold after 11 at night, a restriction on your freedoms. The wearing of masks in public places is still mandatory and failure to wear a mask when required remains a criminal offence. That's a lie. It's a, it's, it's a regulatory offense. There is no criminal offense in not wearing a mask. This is not correct. You'll be violating a regulation. If you are asked to put on your mask as per the regulations, there is no criminal offense. If you do not put on your mask when asked over by a police officer, then the criminal offense is not obeying an instruction. Let's just make that clear. This is a lie. Ramaphosa said as part of the effort to return 
the most affected parts of the economy to operation, the government is looking at the further relaxation of restrictions, particularly with respect to sporting and cultural events. But there's always a catch. The Department of Health will soon be rolling out a vaccination certificate, which will provide a secure and verifiable proof of vaccination. I can already see many people trying to plan to circumnavigate this. It can be used to facilitate travel access to establishments and gather and other forms of activity that require proof of vaccination status. Watch this space. This is going to get interesting. He added this approach was informed by the World Health Organization's guidelines and aligns with international best practices. Once again, a non-elected body telling our government what to do. Streamlining and standardizing proof of vaccinations will also go a long way towards getting a number of international travel restrictions both from and into our country eased. Then, protect. Ramaphosa again urged South Africans to get vaccinated, saying it was not only to protect themselves and those around them, but also to prevent the emergence of new variants. However, we should remember that even if we are vaccinated, we need to continue to adhere to the basic precautions to limit the spread of the virus from one person to another, because as we all know, that you can still be contaminated and spread the virus even when vaccinated. We know that indoor gatherings, particularly in places that have poor ventilation, are the major cause of outbreaks and super spread events, as they call it. So, it is uh, fascinating that these level 1 uh, restrictions are eased as much as they are, considering what they are saying will happen in December. They already know what's going to happen then, and they're telling us what will happen, and yet they do what they're doing now. Doesn't make sense. Um, I don't uh, know how to make sense of many things that people in government says, especially Sir Ramaphosa. And maybe it's because he is scripted and he can't actually use his own mind. So all that's something you should think of, using your own mind. I quote at the end, we must continue wearing our masks at all times, when in public, keep our distance from others and always ensure that windows are open and that there is a flow of fresh air. If we continue to adhere to these regulations, if we keep the rate of infections low, and most importantly, if we vaccinate significant numbers of the adult population, we will keep the pandemic at bay and eventually force it into decline, he added. So there you go, people. We can gather now in groups of up to 2,000 people. That is a significant number of people. So let's have some fun and have these gatherings. And our Freedom SA events we can now really take to a new level. We can, we can organize at larger venues and it will be really great to see the number of people we can gather together that want to be free. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and watch the Moments in Time and Question Everything series in the playlist on this channel. Moments in Time and Question Everything to see what this channel is about and join if you want to become a part of the Double Days membership community where you will be able to watch all the past live chats as well as presentations that I've made as well as the two unique members videos that I make every month. Thank you very much. Till the next video.